Hi, I'm Bob and welcome back to Kaler's Aquatics. I'm going to try something a little different, well quite a bit different for me. Normally, as you know, my videos are a vlog style and they're rambling and not scripted at all. But I want to try a few of these and see if doing a script and focusing on um, one topic uh, might be a, a little better format or at least a change up so I'll be looking for feedback um, and I will be reading some and that's obvious because I'm not one of those people that can read and make it sound conversational so what I'm going to talk about for just a couple minutes are these fish here and they're called bitterlings uh, and I found them at a local fish store um, well, a couple of hours drive away and had never heard of them so um, went ahead and picked up the four they have um, I think I have two males and two females um, and I'm going to quote sources as I tell you just a little bit about these fish um, Oxford Dictionary describes a bitterling as a small brightly colored freshwater fish of Central Europe their eggs are deposited inside a mussel in which they're fertilized and the young eventually hatch. Merriam-Webster describes a bitterling as a small European cyprinid, Rhodesius amorous, introduced and locally common about New York that is much used in bioassay of mammalian hormones. Uh, so there's a scientific uh, use for these fish. And then Live Aquaria, uh, liveaquaria.com. Um, it's a good online resource and they do sell fresh saltwater fish, corals, I mean, all kinds of things. Uh, and I'm certainly not uh, endorsed uh, by them or sponsored by them in any way. They just had the most information and actually had the fish for sale. Um, so what they say about them is uh, they're a carp-like fish in their looks. Um, mainly found in China, but also Taiwan, in both ponds and inland rivers. Uh, so they're in Europe and uh, China and Taiwan as well. Bitterling fish or Rhodesius cirrhosis um, or Rhodesius amorous. The bitterling fish, the scientific name for rosy bitterling is Rhodesius ocellatus is a genus of cyprinid fish consisting of 21 species um, called bitterlings. Bitterlings are carp like in experience, as we've already heard, and they are a great addition to either a backyard pond or aquarium. Their bodies are generally silver to gold in color and their dorsal and anal fins, anal fins are highlighted in white. When mature, they'll develop either pink or blue hue at the base of their caudal fins. Um, the ideal aquarium is at least 20 gallons. And this is a 50 gallon, so they're good. And this is actually the Fajaca Puffers Aquarium. So they do have been doing great for maybe six weeks in here. Um, with many plants. Um, either uh, realistic or plastic and we have plenty of plants and we do have lots of black barreled algae on those plants but lots of plants for them to peruse through. Uh, rocks with plenty of hiding spaces and those we also have. Um, gravel or sand is acceptable either as a substrate and so we actually have both of those. It's primarily gravel but they're uh, sand, sorry, but there's lots of gravel. Uh, bitterlings are popular additions for ponds with large koi, and I thought koi keepers would find this interesting. They will feed upon parasites that infect the koi, uh, especially anchor worms. So that's real good information to know. They're very active fish that will also feed upon insect larvae. <coughs> I'm sorry, the dogs are really acting out tonight, but they're dogs. Um, insect larvae and will help in controlling mosquitoes in the water garden so some really beneficial uses for those. The bitterlings spawn into the mantle of a freshwater clam where they incubate. Um, 
provide a number of bitterlings in the same aquarium to allow them to pair off. After the fry become waterborne, feed them nearly hatched brine shrimp with large enough to accept other foods. Uh, bitterling needs to be fed a variety of foods, including vegetables as well as meaty foods, uh, and feed a quality flake food, as well as freeze-dried live and frozen foods such as brine shrimp and blood worms. Their purchase size from this particular site is one to two inches, and they list them at $13.99 or $14 per fish. And then, of course, the more you buy, the cheaper they are. Um, and uh, that's from Live Aquaria again. Uh, their adult size is three to three and a half inches. And I'm going to go ahead and just drop in a, a mixture of some brine and spirulina and let them eat. Uh, that's what I've been doing here is holding their food so that uh, they would be up front and near me. <laughs> so there you go. Those are bitterlings. And uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I have some other fish that are even less commonly known than this. Um, and uh, if that's something that's of interest to you, uh, let me know. And I'll do another couple of these and uh, see how it goes. All right, guys. Looking for your feedback. And thanks for watching.